everything we're doing here is to demonstrate that it's always going to work when it's supposed to, it's never going to work when it's the will be DPI 372, DPI 220, countdown, we'll do the four up one, and then do the pass. D61 program started in 2000. We have ground testing, test flights, modeling, and simulations. The F-15 strike is always on range. The ground crews will verify we're collecting and capturing and the free data. And then the F-15 strike is will release the B-61-12 from the air. During that time, our ground crews are collecting data from the unit, we're verifying weapon data, arming, firing, timing. We've collected the data to date. It looks like everything functioned as designed, and it was a very successful thing. It demonstrated the final qualification points and evidence for the nuclear certification of the F-15 E-Strike Eagle. It demonstrated all the operational crews, it demonstrated the ability for it to be delivered, and we demonstrated the ability of the weapon to function. So it really did bring together years of hard work. We brought together all of the different partners, Sandia National Lab, Los Alamos National Lab, the National Nuclear Security Administration, the Air Force, the ground crews, the air crews, 